Okay, I'm trapped. I am trapped now. I have no more room left. I seriously need to get to the garage finished off. This door, the door frame, will go back to there, right to there. But at the moment, the door's here. And the new door frame is there, underneath that pile of scrap. Well, it's not a scrap, it's bits of metal for doing stuff with. So yeah, I need to get the door frame done and the other door frame because then I'll have that much more garage space there. Same thing. And I'm full all the way down there. I haven't even got enough room to put the second rolling table in here. But I couldn't pass up on that little beast there. Invictia, Invicta. 1M shaper. It was a bit dirtier than that. I've just cleaned the oil pan up a little bit. And the paint came off with duck oil. Can't have been very good paint. That's, and it's a bit rusty. I've just had a look. It is a semi universal table. The table does turn. So you can twist it to about 45 degrees looking at it, maybe less. Uh, there's no vice and it's come with a uh, boring bar which is going to be very good for doing keyways with it looks like it's got a quarter inch slot in it I haven't measured it yet but I've got quite a lot, quite a lot of quarter inch Momax brand new high speed steel to use so that should do that beautifully uh, that's the only tool I got with it. So this is clearly used for broaching keyways or making spines. More likely broaching keyways. It runs very smooth, although it is not plugged in right now. I need to work out what three-phase motor it's got and get a variable frequency drive for it. It's even got the original lamp. I took it off for transport. I split the unit into two halves. I unbolted it down here and lifted the top off and then put that in the car and then lifted the base and put that in the car and secured it all down. Then had an accident in the car, damaging the car. But testament to the amount of strapping down I did, the shaper didn't move and there was no damage. So I'm very happy. Very happy indeed, this handle was already broken. And this is broken, that's all I've seen so far. So we've got voice missing and a, a setup, a bunch of setup stuff inside here and another setup bar here. Obviously for doing gears with or some, some kind of setup they use there for doing gears with I should imagine. It runs because I saw it in the place where I bought it from. We had three phase hooked up and it had a plug on the end of it. I left the plug with them because I'm not going to use it. Oh, well, there's one more thing I noticed. The uh, quick quick release handle here is obviously missing. And I don't know what this what's called it. I've had a quick look inside the Scotch yoke and all that lot. Look. So here we are going in there. Let's see if we can see anything. There's a scotch out there. I don't think I can see any down here. It looks pretty mint. The old thrust arm thing looks brilliant. I'll review the video in a bit. But I'm looking inside there myself. Oh, well, it's got something welded across it. It has been welded. No, it has been welded, definitely. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, there's something welded on there. Whether that's factory or not, I don't think so. So it looks like it's been welded. They usually have. We'll see how good it is. I think they're restricting the stroke, to be fair. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, they're usually busted, aren't they? A bit disappointed in that one, not to worry. The gearbox works, it's got two speed gearbox here and a two speed pulley arrangement so it's got four speeds. And the clutch works beautifully. 
that's on. And that's off. I don't want to damage anything, okay? And the compound felt nice and free when I was doing it the other day. I wound it all the way down, I think I did. There we go. Compound's free. The increments on here are, are worn out. And I've got the cranking handle. So there's a couple of things I need to make to make it good. I think as it is, it will do the five or six gears I need for a start before I strip it down and make it look like new. So here is the initial clean. I've just basically soaked it down with duck oil and cleaned it off. It's gone from being blackish to blue. And the duck oil was taking the paint off the aluminium. I don't know what colour that was, that's like a grey colour. Well that's the kind of colour it was really. And that's the kind of colour it's turning out to be. But it's not coming off the cast iron, it came off the aluminium undercoat dead easy. And these have come up to a metal colour now instead of that weird colour there. I've got the motor out. I've got a mess everywhere as usual. Uh, where's the, oh, the motor's here now. I've put the motor to pieces and cleaned it out, all the chips out of it and put it back together again. It's 440 only, there's no star and delta, so I'm either going to have to get a transformer to go on the VFD to bring it up to 440 or get a new motor because that's all cheaper than getting a phase converter, a proper phase converter. There we go. The first door frame is nearly welded all the way around. It's got a couple more seams left to do. And I've got to do the bottom half of that, the bottom or bottom line on that, and the bottom line on that one. Everything else is welded. It's not great, but it's okay. I had to put a new strip in, started leaking, so I really need to get these doors in so I can get the real doors up because these temporary doors, this temporary line of cement here is the third temporary line of cement that I've put in. I really need to get my new doors in and get the floor up to its level about an inch and a half higher than what it is. You know, I'm going to be raising the floor by about an inch, it's going to be coming up. In there, man! Obviously that way, it feeds that way, and that way, the feeds back this way. That's off, and that's off. So my little knob, nice little brass screw in it, it's wicked. And uh, we'll put it in the engaged position. It's engaged, you can see this here. Got it just right. There's still just a bit, just a faintest of little air gaps all the way around it. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. As measured.